Welcome to the first video lecture of COM 1600 Intro to Popular Culture Studies for the Spring 2021 semester. This course is about what people do with popular culture and what popular culture does to everyday life and society. We'll learn about and apply the basic theories and approaches to the academic study of pop culture as we explore popular film and television, video games, cosplay, memes, toys, fan fiction, collectibles, and so on. In this first video lecture, I'll give you a brief rundown of the course content, assignments, I'll highlight a few key course policies, and I'll explain what I expect of you as a student. Okay, so let me just start by telling you what we're going to cover in the rest of this video. I want to first introduce myself, then I'll highlight a few of the course and university-wide policies. Next, I'll very briefly tell you about some of the resources that you'll need to successfully complete this course. Then I'll outline the five major assignments that you're going to need to complete this semester. And finally, we'll look at our course calendar. So to begin, who am I? My name is Dr. Matthew Hale. I have a PhD from the Department of Communication and Culture at Indiana University, and I study social media, pop culture, and the politics of technology and media entertainment. My pronouns are he, him, and his. If you'd like me to call you something other than what's listed in the official roster on D2L or in One Stop, which is probably going to be your legal name, just send me an email with any name preferences, your pronouns, or frankly, anything else you might need. Just shoot me an email and we'll talk. Now, with regard to office hours this semester, those are going to be entirely online. You can set up times to chat or text or call or even Zoom. So basically, I'm going to be available. Contact me and we'll figure out a time and a platform. But and this is a big but, please start with an email. Don't just cold call me or text me memes. Send me an email first. Okay, so course policies. This is a brief and very incomplete overview of my course policies. For a complete account, review the official course policy documents under the syllabus tab on D2L. So first and foremost, should you need any accommodation whatsoever, contact the folks in Disability Services. Disability Services will then contact me and then they, you and I will get things in order and you'll be all set. Next, this is the broad strokes, general etiquette and performance requirements. Be professional, treat me, staff, faculty and your fellow students with respect and dignity. Do not cheat or plagiarize. It's up to you to submit assignments to me on time and in the proper format via the correct channels and I don't accept late work. This is a project-driven asynchronous course and it was designed with flexibility in mind. So let me explain how our course will operate each week. Every seven day period from Monday to Sunday, you'll be assigned content to consume. You'll read academic and popular texts, you'll watch films and documentaries, you'll be required to submit assignments on the due dates listed on the course calendar. I've already been asked this by a few students via email, but I just want to clarify right here in this video, we will not have any required scheduled Zoom meetings during this semester. So what does that mean for you? If you want to do all of your readings, screen the required films, and submit your assignments at 2 or 3 a.m. on Mondays or Tuesdays, you can do that. If you want to work ahead, that's great. More power to you. You can do that too. You just have to keep up with the pacing outlined in the course calendar. An important note here, all assignments are all the way throughout the entire semester. They're going to be due on Sundays at 11.59 p.m., without exception. So just to summarize all of this, the class is totally asynchronous, there are no required Zoom meetings, and follow the course calendar and you will be fine. All of the text, multimedia content, and documentary films for this course are going to be available via D2L for free. So your resource cost for this class will be, or theoretically it should be, zero dollars. This brings us to the assignments that you're going to need to do to successfully complete this course. There are five assignments in total. In-depth instructions for each of these assignments are located under the Assignment Instructions tab on D2L. Likewise, I'll be posting video walkthroughs for more involved or complicated assignments. But for now, let me just preview the work you're going to be doing. The simplest and perhaps least inspiring assignment is your weekly reading notes. You'll submit 10 sets of notes from each week's assigned readings or multimedia content. This is an easy assignment. Keep up with the course calendar, engage with content, take notes, and submit them. Next up is the artifact exhibition. You'll produce a photographic or video-based museum-like tour of your possessions or even just a single pop culture related object. From video game collections to action figures, autographs, memorabilia, all that sort of stuff. Following that is the scholarly profile assignment. I really enjoy this assignment and I, I think you're going to as well. You'll select a famous critical theorist from a pre-approved list of figures. Do a bit of research and then you'll create one of two things. Either a Pokemon themed card or an online dating profile for said critical theorist. I'm partial to the Tinder-esque dating profile, but you as a class will decide which route we go when we get to that assignment. 
For the meme off assignment, you're gonna create, share, and analyze original memes. There's more to it than that, but that's enough detail for now. And finally, you'll have your choice of producing a traditional research paper or a video essay that explores some element of popular culture. Again, more details to come later. That's our very last assignment for the semester. I'm gonna just very briefly show you the course calendar. This is available under the syllabus tab on D2L. You should check this out multiple times every single week. It will keep you on schedule and organized. Under each week's headings, you'll see designations like read, skim, or watch that indicate, as you may have guessed, what text you need to read or even skim through or what documentaries or short videos you need to watch. The syllabus is honestly very, very straightforward and I think it's easy to read, but I do wanna mention one final note. Assignments are always going to be due on Sundays at 11.59 p.m., always. Assignment due dates are marked on the syllabus as well as on each of the respective drop boxes on D2L, so you should not get lost in this class. Additionally, I'm gonna post reminders each week to help keep everyone on track. And with that, we're done. Welcome to COM 1600, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.